What's up guys, it's Fallen Luby here doing a review on the MP5 mod which was kindly sent to me by CoolGuy158 for 7 days. Uh, it's been in my inbox for quite a while now, I promised CoolGuy I would uh, review this SMG for him. Um, I've been pretty busy lately actually um, with school, yesterday was my final day and I also had my uh, chem finals yesterday as well which was pretty intense but anyways I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, now onto the actual review, the MP5 mod is pretty much the NX variant of the MP5A4. Uh, it comes with a built-in ACOG uh, TA3, I believe it's called, and it's also got a built-in S3 silencer. Also, this SMG is extremely underused, which is one of the main reasons why I decided to review it. I thought this SMG deserved some of the spotlight, and who knows, maybe it'll even gain a bit more popularity after this review, but uh, I highly doubt that because this SMG is definitely not one of the better SMGs in the game. But uh, you'll see what I mean as I go over the stats. Now moving on to the power of the MP5 mod. Uh, but before I go any further, I'd like to clear something up really quickly. The MP5 mod is stronger than its GP counterpart, the MP5A4. A lot of people like to assume that the MP5 mod is only a MP5A4 with added attachments. But I can see why, because the damage rating on both guns is the exact same according to the uh, Nexon arsenal. But then again, Nexon stats are usually incorrect, which was why I went and and, uh, tested these two guns myself and my results have shown that the MP5 mod consistently deals more damage than its GP counterpart. Both guns are still four shot kills to the front and back at close quarters but the MP5 mod definitely packs harder hits dealing roughly 27 to 29 damage which is the uh, same level as the uh, MP7 and uh, yeah I hope I clear this up for you guys and uh, the MP5 mod it has a really really high damage drop off which is uh, really really bad um, anywhere beyond medium ranges the MP5 mod is just terrible um, it's gonna be dealing a minimum of five to seven shot kill to the front uh, beyond medium ranges it's really really bad but then again SMGs are meant for uh, close ranges so um, please don't try and use this SMG for beyond medium ranges or you'll just embarrass yourself and you'll die. Um, but anyways, moving on to the rate of fire, I'd have to say that the MP5 mod has a pretty impressive rate of fire. I've watched its rate of fire frame by frame and compared it to the MP7 and um, they pretty much have the exact same rate of fire, if not really, really close. And uh, that's really good for a SMG. It shoots faster than the uh, UMP, the P90 and the PP19. So um, in terms of stopping power, it's pretty much the exact same as the MP7. It's got the same damage and pretty much the same rate of fire. Um, not very believable, I know. Um, when I first used this gun I thought man this gun is really really weak but uh, really it actually has the same stopping power as the uh, MP7 which I found quite surprising and yeah I learned something new today um, now moving on to the accuracy the MP5 mod has some pretty good accuracy for a submachine gun I mean from here I can still headshot people hiding behind boxes and uh, that's actually pretty impressive it's no G36E obviously this is a submachine gun and uh, yeah its accuracy is really impressive it's on the same level as the UMP which is much better than the MP7 but uh, beyond uh, medium range that's where the accuracy starts to fail and uh, that's where the damage drop off starts to kick in and um, that's where the mp5 mod really starts to fail so um, try to keep um, fights in between short to uh, medium ranges and you should be fine 
As for portability, the MP5 mod is pretty light, just like any other submachine gun in the game, they're all pretty light, but um, compared to other SMGs in the game, the MP5 mod is below average in portability in my opinion. It's got a 75 point portability, which is the exact same as the UMP, and uh, which is also 10 points less than the MP7. It's really no big deal, the uh, MP5 mod is still very light, it's a submachine gun, but um, compared to other submachine guns, I'd have to say it's below average. Now moving on to the recoil, here's your recoil test right here, going full auto. Um, very low recoil, very low spread, very good, but however it does have its problems. Um, when you scope in and you go full auto, big problems, heavy recoil pattern, uh, horizontal recoil pattern that is, and um, definitely you cannot go full auto when you're scoped in. Um, you can tap fire with the MP5 mod, but then again, as I said before, the accuracy is not the best. So. Um, taking advantage of tap firing is not going to help you too much. The recoil pattern on the MP5 mod is probably the, one of the main reasons why people don't use this SMG. It's just really bad and it throws you off completely. I know this from experience. I've been using this SMG for three days now and uh, every time I try and shoot someone from uh, short range or medium range and uh, when I'm going full auto with this thing, your reticle just randomly flies to the left or the right which is extremely annoying and um, you know that can really get you killed especially when you're scoped in and you're trying to take advantage of the ACOG scope um, it's pretty much impossible to take advantage of it unless you're tap firing uh, bursting is not an option and going full auto especially is not an option at all um, the recoil pattern is is just going to throw you off completely and even if you're not scoped in and you're going full auto just be really really careful because the recoil pattern it's just eh, really really bad and it's pretty much what sets apart the MP5 and the MP7. The recoil pattern is probably the biggest difference in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, I've pretty much talked enough about the recoil. And uh, moving on to modifications, um, the only modification that you can add onto the MP5 would be the uh, Extend Magazines, um, which you definitely need for the MP5. The MP5 has a very fast rate of fire. Um, in this video, you'll see me using a uh, Extend Magazine 1, I believe. Um, I might have used the Extend Magazine 2, so somewhere in some clips, but um, mainly the Extend Magazine 1, you definitely need one. Uh, scope, it already comes with one. Suppressor, it already comes with one, so you don't worry about it. And now my final words for the MP5 mod. Bad SMG, not much of a reason to get it. Um, and here's just me tap firing with it. Uh, tap firing is works very well with the MP5. Um, but really, this SMG is not worth it. I mean, if you really like this SMG, just get the MP7. It's pretty much better than the uh, MP5 in pretty much all aspects. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching, and let's move on to the shoutouts. First, big thanks to Alexis95 for the Saiga 20k CQB for 7 days. I've always wanted to re-review this shotgun, so um, I'm not going to go into much detail about that, but thank you to Alexis95. Next day, shout out to MMI203 for a respawn token. And next day, shout out to XX underscore killer underscore KK for a respawn token. And shout out to XX underscore killer underscore KK for another respawn token. And next, a shout out to Champ is Me for bonus EXP pass 25%, 100 of them. Thank you very much. And next, a shout out to Crew Hunter, I think, for the Deagle SE for 30 days. That's really awesome, and um, I'll be reviewing that soon. And next, a shout out to Champ is Me again for a respawn token. And next, a shout out to Dash Shamu for. Codename Viper, Specialist, uh, Two Salt License, Flamethrower, and Claymore for seven days. That's really awesome. Um, I've always wanted to try out the Flamethrower. I've used the Claymore before, but, in, but uh, I wasn't really good with it. But anyways, thank you very much to Dash uh, Shamu, and um, I'll be reviewing the Flamethrower and the Claymore really soon. And next day, shout out to XX Blitz XX for a respawn token. And uh, next day, shout out to... Gunner557 for a, a respawn token. Let me open up these ones first. Okay, and uh, next day, shout out to Nature Right for the stamina kit. That's really awesome as well. Um, next day, shout out to Down Paint for a respawn token. And bonus EXP pass 40%, 50 of them from Dash Light Dash L. That's really awesome. Thank you guys.